Hello, it's Sarah. So last night I saw a video by Ginny Baker and it was very inspirational. I actually have, I'm going to be doing some doodle flowers in polymer clay and a basic, a doodle flower is basically like this and I got this idea from Cat Hand but they're just basic doodles. It's like a doodle. You can do whatever you want and with color and all different things. Well, she, Ginny, I'm going to pull my iPad over. Did them in polymer clay. So basically, I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit. I want you guys to go check out her video. Um, it's different cookie cutter shapes layered on top of each other to create this little doodle flower shape. So, and then she ends up highlighting and shading with paint, acrylic paint. Um, there's details with little uh, leather cutters and things like that. Now, me, I'm probably going to embed some crystals in there, some beads. Um, Lori Micah actually, and I have a project that I could share. She calls them like medallions. Let me see if I have, oh, I did this like, it's kind of like a quilt I would consider it, but I've done it, and this is super busy, but it's a, it's a similar idea where I just used a couple, and they're very thick. I think these are a lot thicker than they would need to be. So these are probably just two layers of clay with a big button on top or a metal embellishment or something and then mica powders things like that so along those lines but I love the doodle flowers much more and so it'll it's gonna be similar to this and I'm just gonna use really bright colors and I, of course since I've been doing um, the chakra right red yellow red orange yellow green blue, indigo, and lavender-ish. Here's red. So these colors, I'm thinking, we'll see. And if you watch her video, she's done a couple different ideas and um, techniques. Ginny is actually a polymer clay artist. She's not a mixed media artist or, you know, I think she does dabble in other arts and crafts type things, but um, as a rule, her well, she only has a few videos up. You'll see. Let me go back up. I always forget that I zoomed in. Um, but so what I did was I gathered up some shapes, circles, of course, because you can always change the edge. I only have a couple of um, scallopy ones, and I have some leaf shapes because. Her project that she did, and my, um, for whatever reason, this wasn't, see, I, it keeps, my iPad keeps um, shutting down photos. Let me see if my picture, my, um, I don't know if it went to the cloud. Let me see. No. Anywho, she did a project on a cradle board. So basically like this, you'll see, I'm going to put the link, the link is in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. I haven't decided how I'm going to do mine. I think it's going to be this way, and I'm just going to have a bunch of flowers kind of like all around with leaves. I don't know that I'll have stems. I might. And then you could put a bird. I mean, I'm, I'm you know, starting to go a little crazy in my head. Um... But I'm not going to put polymer clay on the background. So she did hers with a crackle background. I'm thinking I may just paint it a solid color. Um, I haven't quite decided that yet because I was going to slip slap like some blues to, and like some white for cloudy sky and a little green on the bottom. I haven't quite decided, you know, so similar to this so that you would get a green. Um, eh. This is mixed media papers, um, jelly prints, but I don't really have anything to show you, but what's what I'm thinking. Um, and then I'll put the different flowers here and there all around. 
like that. And a couple of leaves here and there. I have big shape leaf shapes and little leaf shapes. So, so you know, something like this. Um, and then maybe a birdie just sitting on top of a flower or something and kind of fill this more with um, flowers because I never, I always go big or I, you might as well just go home. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to thank you, Jenny, so much for your creativity and your knowledge about polymer clay. There's also a very good tip that she put as well. Um, she tells you where you can get all her shape cutters like this. I, I'm pretty sure Sherry sent me these. One of you guys sent me these. Um, these are just fondant cutter uh, little shapes and these are flowers so I have them and then I had these. These were specifically for polymer clay I think although they're just fondant cutters. I've used these before so I'll probably use those shapes um, but basically you can create any sh like if it's a circle you can cut into the I have stars why couldn't you use stars I mean it's a doodle flower that's the thing they don't exist in nature they are completely made up hi Kirby you want to come up come here come come good girl come good girl here she is oh her little face Here's her little oh okay she's okay anywho she mentioned that to seal polymer clay she gave a very good um oh, oh my gosh she totally scratched my leg like when she jumped off was like ouch it was just a delivery eye. Anywho, in the description box of Ginny's video, which I want you all to go and check out, is a recommendation for a spray varnish for polymer clay. And I get this question all the time, and Sherry, actually one of my subbies who we communicate on Messenger quite a bit, um, put my Podge on her clay before because she's using stickers, and a lot of different um, varnishes do not mesh well with polymer clay. Um, they get sticky and it's just a mess and I mean if you've worked on a tile and you know you want to seal it you don't want it to be all sticky and you know basically I would throw it out like I'm not I don't like that so I haven't varnished very often. I don't remember what I put on here but I'm pretty sure I varnished it and but it's not sticky so I just got lucky because I mean yeah, anywho, um, for the most part, I do not varnish my pieces. And the other thing is, too, is if you use buttons and um, Strosky crystals and things, the varnish can also cloud them up. So it's a tricky business doing that, but it is, I think, best to, to varnish like this. Um, it's just a little notebook. I actually baked the whole, like it's... Oh, I'm going to get that. Sorry, you guys. Okay. I totally forget where I was. Anywho, it's... Okay, yeah, yeah. Here we are. So, she recommends Helmar Crystal Coat Matte Varnish. Well, actually, she refers you to a page, a blog, that I got this information from because she definitely has worked with polymer clay way more than I have. And... Um, the first one that she recommended was a PYM2, which is Preserve Your Memories Spray Sealer, but it's not available anymore unless you find it from an Etsy store or another polymer clay um, provider that sells it, but they're not making it anymore. And then, so the next best thing would be the Helmar Crystal Coat Matte Varnish, and I ordered that on Amazon. I just ordered it. It was around, I want to say 16 bucks for like a big can of it, a spray can. So I'm excited because now I can I can seal my work. Um, so let me just say I will I'm gonna make a flower, and then because uh, Jenny has a tutorial up on exactly <clears throat> how she she does hers, um, it's real time. So the beginners anybody can could totally follow it. And I will share what I create when I've, when I've done it. I'm not going to do a tutorial um, unless I become completely a, like a perfectionist about it and I have my own way of doing it or something. But it's basically just stacking the clay 
So Jenny's got it. She's out there. She did it. Um, so thank you, Jenny, very, very much. It's a wonderful idea, and I'm so excited to see what happens. Now, once I uh, figure out how I'm going to do my, my board, I'll share that. So once I have all my um, flowers made and baked, um, I will mount them on here, and I'll just glue them like I would uh, a polymer clay mosaic. So basically, when I glue a mosaic, one of these, when I'm gluing all these tiles down, I use weld bond glue, um, and other people may use different glue. I only use that because when I first started doing glass mosaics with real glass and tiles, um, whatever, that's what they recommended. So um, I'll show you that. So it's basically... Uh, Whatever, whatever you want to do, but Ginny had done it on a, a cradle board, so I decided to use that cradle board for this project instead of the, um, the Buddha Zen one that I'm going to be doing soon. So my substrates are drying for that. All right, I'm kind of, I'm on two cups of coffee, but I'm also very excited. Plus, Matt's coming over. So let me just tell you guys real quick. Matt's coming over. He uh, is doing really well. He's cleaned six months. And he looks fantastic. He's working and he's living in an Oxford house. So we're very proud of him at the moment. And um, so just fingers crossed. But um, he came out here to have Chick-fil-A for lunch and he's going to stop by. So I'm um, going to see Matt today. All right, you guys. So I will be back. I'm going to put the link to Ginny's video in the description box. And thanks again, Jenny. OMG, they are so, so cute. All right, thanks for watching.